Porter with Wilderness Systems Kayaks. I'm about to launch on the Chesapeake Bay here today, and I'm in my Wilderness Systems Tarpon 160. I chose this boat for bay fishing because I needed a fast boat that could cover a lot of ground. Um, I had been in a Ride 135, and while that's a very fast boat for you know reservoir fishing or out on the river, you know chasing river smallmouth, uh, I needed one that could cover greater distances with you know a lot less effort and that certainly this boat certainly does that let me just take you about a stern on this boat um, I got my anchor set up here this line goes through some deck rigging that I have here incorporated into the the slide track system it's some harmony deck rigging gear here the deck rigging uh, connects to a couple zigzag cleats I have a second zigzag cleat in the in the slide tracks uh, that goes to these these cables that pull up my Torquedo Ultralight 403 motor, and that's going to give me even more range. I've got two batteries. There's my spare battery. Here's the one that I'll be starting out with today. Uh, this is the the controller. I have the controller with the uh, emergency switch that's a safety feature on the torpedo um, if I leave the boat the boats gonna shut off uh, the motor is um, I have that set up on a, a ram mount so this is this is adjustable if it's in my way I can I can easily scoot it out of the way got a couple rod holders here for trolling elevating a little bit just so that when I do my paddle stroke when I am paddling I can reach my my paddle blade pretty far forward if you have your rod holders set up uh, for trolling and they're low, it can kind of be in the way sometimes. Up here I have the my Lowrance HDS-7, uh, which is very important if I'm, I'm jigging fish. I'm really looking for them on the, the depth finder before I start dropping a jig. It's got a chart in there. I got the uh, Lowrance chip in there. So I have real good, real good charts, real good maps out there to, uh, to be able to find fish. Um, <clears throat> This is actually set up on a, a Yak Attack cell block. The battery is up inside here. So that's protected from the element somewhat. Um, what's nice about, about this is that I can actually unscrew it. And if I want to take this depth finder and stick it on my Ride 135, or a Tarpon 140 or any of my other boats, it fits into the, the slide track system very easily. It takes less than a minute to transfer this from, from one boat to the next, which is a very nice feature. Um, in the angler packages for the Wilderness Systems boats this year, um, you have a couple mighty mounts that they put here, and these are the, the Yak, Yak Attack Zuka tubes. Those are real nice options. Um, over the, the flush mount rod holders. The anchor system that I have on this boat is one that I've, I've made myself and it's retractable. There's a clothesline spool in here and uh, you can see that, that as soon as I pull the line up, it gathers it. Uh, when, I, when I don't need the anchor deployed, I, I bring it up and I lock it in one of these zigzag cleats here. A lot of people ask how I get the, the zigzag cleats uh, to, to fit in these um, in the slide tracks here. Uh, I get these at, at hook one kayakfishinggear.com and I have to drill the holes that uh, take a, a normal screw through there wide enough that I can fit this Allen wrench screw in there. And that's the same, th these Allen wrench screws are the same ones that we use. Uh, well, it's, it's Harmony, it's a Harmony gear product uh, that fits into the slide tracks. So. You get those little br little brass plates that slide in there, and then these, you know, Allen wrench screws fit into that. But you got to drill through the the hard plastic of the zigzag cleat uh, for that to work. Just to make that hole, you know, where it comes wide enough for the screw to fit in, it needs to be just a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm.